Man, come on now, just beat you four times. You wanna keep playing? Anthony, good to see you. Thanks so much for chatting with me, uh, fellow Detroiter. Um, Are you from Detroit? I am, I went to Michigan, I went to Michigan State. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep, and I know you were on Detroiters, which was like my favorite show ever, so. Yeah. I, I gotta ask you, how did you get involved? How did you get on the show? Is it just like your natural comedy and being from Detroit? Well, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, Sam Richardson and Tim Robinson, they, I guess they got a win uh, to some of the videos that I did and they reached out. They, they knew I was from Detroit as well. And they said, hey man, you should come and be on the show. We got a, a great role for you. And so I went out there and we shot it. It was, it was awesome. It was a good time. It's, it's crazy that they canceled the show. Oh my gosh, I know. It was, I loved it. It was like a breath of fresh air. It wasn't like anything that was on TV at the time. And so I was, I was looking forward to season three and everything, but you know how these things go. I know people don't know good television, I guess sometimes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and seeing more crim again. Um, so I have to ask you then about this campaign, the hands on a hot drop. Tell me, what is it? I was trying to wrap my head around it. Yeah, so it, it's great. So it's going to be at uh, Pier 76 in New York from 2 to 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, the iHeartRadio block party. And uh, what's so great about it is that it's Modelo and it's Takis, right? So two great brands come together and they're creating this vending machine, right? So they already have their contestants picked already. So uh, the contestants, they have to put their hands on this vending machine, right? Uh -huh. And they just have to have the same fighting spirit from Modelo, right? And they have to have the same intensity as a spicy snack of Takis, right? <laughs> and so there's gonna be a lot of distractions, a lot of tricks, a lot of obstacles to make sure that they don't keep their hands on the vending machine. Oh. And if they win, if they win, they get a year supply of Modelo and Takis. And I'm gonna be the MC there. So it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait, it's, it's gonna be great. Gonna be a lot of positive energy, uh, a lot of people participating. And, uh, and if you can't be there, then you can watch it virtually on Instagram, on my page, or at Modelo USA. So it's gonna be a good time. That, is, that kind of reminds me of those old school campaigns they used to do where you put the hand on the car and yep. then you sort of outlast, that's fun. Yep. Only that's, a vending machine though. <laughs> that's, and that, I, like the, I like the little uh, the little hook there. That, and you're like the perfect person to like host something like this. Cause I loved you on the great American Baking Show. Like, like that job, being the host of something like that, you really got to keep people up. Is there something that you kind of reach inside you to kind of keep the contestants engaged and excited? Well, uh, growing up, I was the only child. So I always wanted to entertain. I always wanted people to come back over to my house. So I would always try to make people around me feel welcome. And I guess that kind of followed me with every locker room that I had been in, you know, playing in a uh, professional football. So uh, any locker room that I was in, I always want people around me to have a good time because I mean, you're playing a kid's game. You know, it's, it's a lot of grownups playing this game, but it's really a kid's game. And so uh, I like to try to get people around me to, to be upbeat and have fun and to laugh. And so I, I do a, a, a lot of things to try to keep people around me to, to, to have fun. So uh, I think this is, this is gonna be great. You know, I get people to, you know, just to be enthusiastic and to have a good time because that's what life is all about. You know, life is short. And so let's let's make the most of it. Yeah, yeah. And I know people like when when you're on the, the baking show, people get so stressed and it is so intense. Yeah. Um, and you got to get in there and kind of get them to relax a little bit. Um, how hard was it sometimes when people's creations were like falling apart? It's very hard because you're not in a familiar environment. You know, you're, you're outdoors, you're away from home, you are in a, in a national space. And so things aren't the same. The way they measure things is not the same. And so um, it's, it's, it's easy to get down on yourself and to actually doubt yourself because uh, you, you're not familiar with a lot of the things that go on there. 
And so to have someone there who's in your corner who can kind of ease the tension and, you know, kind of, I can make fun of myself. And that kind of, that kind of, you know, makes you feel like, okay, I can drop my guards down a little bit. And this guy is, he's not competing against me. Right. You know? So um, it, it's easier for, you know, the contestants to, um, you know, talk to me and, you know, laugh and joke with me. And, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. And I love this show too, because I'm always like getting introduced to new desserts. Like some of these creatures yeah. I've never heard of before. Is there anything that you kind of got to taste and you're like, wow, where's this been my whole life? I need to make this again. <laughs> yeah. Somebody made something with uh, so a, a dessert with rhubarb before. And it was, at first I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't want any parts of that, but it was it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I had seconds and thirds, although I shouldn't have, but it was it was surprisingly delicious. Yeah, yeah, no, it's amazing. And what is Paul Hollywood like? Because he seems like a very intense dude, but it, 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 I'm sure you got him to laugh. Uh, what was he like? No, he's he's very down to earth. Yeah. Uh, he's a terrible uh, ping pong player. Oh. Terrible. Terrible. He's 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 competitive, but he's not very good at table tennis. Uh, I think I beat him probably out of five games we played. I beat him four. So, uh, but he, he's a great guy. Great guy. <laughs> Had me over to his house and uh, we laughed and joke and he made some bread and uh, you know he, he's a great guy. Great guy. I love Paul Hollywood. I, I texted him the other day. That is so, yeah, no, he's just, he fascinates me. I got to ask, how did the table tennis uh, match end up coming out? Were you guys trash talking or was it just having fun one afternoon? Or? No, he had one at his house and I was like, let's play. And so we started playing. At first, you, you start filling people out to see if they're pretty good or whatever. And he started, I was good. And he started to lose. <laughs> is he a good loser or did you did you rub it in or <laughs> well like I said we played five games we're really only supposed to play one or two but oh. you know so he's one of those type where it's like all right I, I guess I had to let him win one you know he's, he's <laughs> one of those types he just won't stop playing and it's like man come on man I just beat you four times you want to keep playing Good. <laughs> that's the best story I love that <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, you know, what, what do you have coming up next? Um, you know, you're, you're going to be bringing some sort of tailgating show coming up. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to be doing that. That's in the works. Uh, we are oh. shopping it around. Uh, hopefully uh, something comes from that, but I'm, I'm excited right now about this Modelo and Taki's deal. Yeah. Uh, can't wait. Uh, Sunday is going to be great. Uh, like I said, if you can't get to the iHeartRadio block party, you can watch it virtually on my page on Instagram or at Modelo USA. Uh, it's going to be great. The vending machine is awesome. I wish I could win it. Uh, you got to see a picture of it. It is, it is amazing. And uh, to, to win Modelo and Takis for a full year, I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? Seriously. Well, I'll be watching since I can't be there. And Hopefully you get home every now and then. I gotta remind myself to get home too. I miss I miss Detroit. So <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Well, it's great speaking with you. I really appreciate it. And yeah, we'll be watching this weekend then. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Take care. You too.